going on YouTube? It's your boy Shy Bai. Today, I'm going to be doing some backups. I already made some um, changes, obviously, um, previous videos you guys see. But uh, one of the things that happened after I made a change, or maybe I'm just equating it to it, but this sunshade right here will not roll down, whereas that one does and the rear one does. But what happened probably like a month or two after I first programmed it, um, the car, um, I noticed that um, none of them were working. And if I hold the button down, then it would roll down just the side window. So when I got home, I was in Florida at the time. When I got home, I actually um, reverted some of the backups and made the other two work again. So that was cool, but I didn't get this one to work. So I'm going to do like a thorough backup. I'm going to go through each module one by one and basically revert it back to the factory default and see if um, I can get them to work and then kind of like code the uh, in reverse uh, put the features that I want on it because I played around with the car a lot you know just learning some of the um, different features that I could turn on and off so we're gonna get into this um, basically what I do one I'm in the body domain controller um, I already co um, did some backups on the other one I actually did a backup on this one so I'm gonna back up out of here and move on to the next section because I did the um, advanced crash module before I even start making a video then the same thing with the um, the air conditioner and the body domain control so we'll move on to um, the camera based driver assistance system and if I had actually did anything in here as far as changes is concerned then there should be a backup um, if you haven't coded one of the sections then there won't be a backup and uh, just to let you guys know just by like I said I'm going through each one individually so they all are independent of each other it's not like if i revert to a oldest backup from the first time i started will it change all of the particular um things that i coded or revert them back it won't in this case like i said i'm just doing the the um, camera based driver assistance for this particular backup so i'm going to go in there and as you see i got plenty of backups and let's just say i i coded you know all of this stuff for, for me was fine but when I got to the last particular thing that I coded, you know, on let's say 329, that 344, I didn't like it, you know. So I could just go back to that particular backup and it'll revert it back to the stuff that I did just prior. But it'll keep all of this stuff intact so it won't make any other changes except to the last thing I changed. So, you know, for some of you guys that are cautious about using Beamer Code, this will be a, like a good way for you guys to, you know, again, to just do things one by one then if you don't like what you see you can go back you know to the prior basically backup but in this case like i told you i'm going all the way back to the first day and um go ahead and select it and push done and it'll start coding and i'll do another like you know just a couple just to uh, just to let you guys see again like muscle memory um make it easier for you but um this is like for for you guys that are scared to go in expert mode, this is probably one of the best features for you. You could, like I said, you shouldn't be too scared. You can kind of like go back if anything happened in between, and um, go to a backup. And without losing everything too, you can select individual backups, incremental backups, let's say. But um, some of the some of the um, stuff it codes pretty quick. Some of it takes pretty long. Like when I was in the um, body domain controller it took you know a long time so that's why i didn't pretty much record that portion of the video but like i said i'll run through a couple of them just to let you see um if you guys like these videos man please subscribe and um like the videos and comment on you know stuff you guys want me to do i'm gonna like change um some of the lighting and stuff in here um it, and um give you guys some some cool tricks and neat tips and stuff you know the get the most out of your car all this stuff should be turned on by default you should have the option to in your iDrive but obviously BMW didn't want us to be that way so I'm gonna keep learning some of this stuff and I'm we gonna be keep turning this stuff on but yeah like I said man show some love and like and subscribe if you guys like the videos and like I said I'll make some videos if you ask me you know specifically stuff you guys want to code um this one it says felt that's a good I'm glad uh, we got to this point Probably the reason why this was felt is the engine control unit. I actually have the car on. Um, it's a good thing to run the car when you guys are coding um, so that you, it doesn't die in the middle if you guys just run it on backup or battery, let's say. But um, one of the, the um, modules that you guys can't code with the engine running is the engine control unit. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the engine control unit off. I mean, the engine control, the engine off. And um, we're going to try that again. So I'm going to go in there 
and quote it again. And let's see. And the same thing, if you code in it and you got that particular error, it's because you your car is actually on. So we're gonna see if it if it works while I got the car off, just to got you again to verify what I'm saying to you guys is correct. But um, I, I ran into that error before when I was actually coding it. So, I, I you know, again, I, I recognized it, but it's, it happens to do with the engine control unit. And some of the stuff in expert mode, especially um, if you guys get real in depth, um, probably can't with Beamer code. But if you had like um, ESYS, you could do some of the DMEs. Um, see, you can see that it's programmed successfully. But yeah, that's perfect. Good thing I caught that at the end of the video. Thanks again for watching the video.